Okay, so this is the first video looking at um, lecture three of statics, specifically free body diagrams, uh, and then some problem solving questions. So this video will focus on the free body diagram section, uh, which is not particularly complicated. There's no extra maths to the previous section. It's just looking at um, how you draw the diagrams that go with it. And these could be around five marks a, a piece per exam question. Um, so they're quite useful to have in the back. If you look at the, uh, the lecture slides, you've got a series of examples um, of real-world applications like this one. And all the free body diagram does is take um, the key pieces of information uh, and extract them so that you can then start to work out which equations to use to solve them. For example, um, the example we've got on here is off slide 4. But if we wanted to know what was happening at point A, link A there, you're going to have a force acting in one direction, a tension, a tension acting in the other. You're potentially in the question going to need to know some angles. You're going to have a tension here, tension B and C. And you're also going to have a forcing acting upwards. That forcing acting upwards is going to equal the weight acting downwards. So all a free body diagram does is simplify a real world um, scenario. It extracts all of the key information shows all of the external forces acting on an object or at a point uh, and then allows you to to apply the equations of equilibrium to try and solve them with the forces or angles that you already know. Um, there are a couple of other examples, um, simplified examples in the, uh, in the notes. There's also a couple of different pieces of information you can extract depending on what you see in the diagram. Um, so, for instance, two things you need to be aware of. If you see a spring, that's my spring, um, it will have a natural length of L0. It will have an extension, which you may have called X or S. Um, when you've done this previously, if you've seen this previously, I'll call it S for now, to stay consistent with the notes. The force that's being exerted by that spring, or the force to cause that extension, is going to be K, the spring constant, times by the extension. Uh, and the extension would be the new length minus the original length. So, The other thing you may need to be aware of, you're probably already aware of, is... Uh, when you've got a frictionless pulley, if you've got a cable coming off your frictionless pulley, that's meant to touch, sorry, and the tension in one side of the cable pulling on one end is the same as the tension on the other. Um, and that will then help you to, to maybe solve a problem that may arise. Um, and in the next video we'll look at some two-dimensional problems uh, solving those with free body diagrams, and then in the final video we'll scale it up to 3D.